Right, we're going to look at how to find averages and the range from frequency tables. A frequency table is when you have a set of values, in this case I've done shoe sizes, and how many times they occur. So this would tell us that when we did a survey of shoe sizes, the shoe size of 3 turned up 5 times, the shoe size of 4 turned up 9 times, there were 14 people with a shoe size of 5. There were 11 people with a shoe size of 6, 5 people with a shoe size of 7, 6 people with a shoe size of 8. Okay, first off, let's look. have a list of what we're going to do. We're going to do the range, we're going to do the mode, we're going to do the median, and we're going to do the mean. Right, first off, the range. The range is the easiest one of the lot to do. All we do is we see what's the biggest shoe size we got. Now we can tell that that is 8. What's the smallest shoe size we got? That's 3. So our range is equal to 8, take away 3. The biggest one, take away the smallest one, which is 5. Right, next is the mode. The mode is the one that has turned up most often, it's the most frequently occurring value. So we look at our frequency column and we can see the highest frequency we have is 14. So the mode is 5 because 5 occurred 14 times. We have to be really careful we don't write down 14 as the mode. The mode is this value, it's not how many times it occurred. So the mode is 5. Next, we're going to look at the median. Now, to do this, you need to work out how many people did you sample altogether. How many values did you collect? So we need to do a total of the frequency column. So we're going to do 5, add 9, add 14, add 11, add 5, add 6. And that comes to 50. Right. To work out which number in our list is the median, we have to add 1 to that number and then take our answer and divide it by 2. So I'm going to add 1 and divide that by 2. Right, that's given me an answer of 25.5, which tells me that the median is halfway between the 25th and the 26th number in the list. If when I'd worked that out, I'd have given the answer 25, it would have been the 25th number. If I'd worked it out and the answer was 26, then the 26th number in the list would have been the median. Because it's a 0 0.5, it is halfway between those two. But what you'll find on these questions is more often than not, both of those answers, both of those readings, will be in the same row. So you don't need to worry about going halfway between two numbers. If you find out they're in different rows, check what you've done be sure that you're right about that because you might have got that a bit wrong. Okay, we need to find out where the 25th and the 26th number in our list is. So we can see the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th are in this row. Then we have 9 more in the next row, so that's up to the 14th. Then we have 14 in the next row. So all the way up to the 28th number is in this one. So we know that the 25th and the 26th are in this row here. So the 25th number in our list is a 5, the 26th number in our list is a 5, so the median is 5. Last thing, the mean. So to work out the mean, if you had a big list of numbers, as opposed to a frequency table, you would add up all your numbers, and then you'd divide by how many you had. So we would do... 5 lots of 3, so we do 3, add 3, add 3, add 3, add 3, and then we do 9 lots of 9. So to do this quicker, we give ourselves an extra row where we just multiply these numbers together. So 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 9 is 36, 5 times 14 is 70, 6 times 11 is 66, 7 times 5 is 35 and 8 times 6 is 48. 
Next thing I do is I'm going to add all those numbers up. So the total is 270. That's the same number as you'd get if you wrote all these out in a big list and you added them up, you'd get 270. All 50 numbers in a list. So to work out the mean, I do 270 divided by 50 because we have had 50 people sampled in total. So I do the sum of this column divided by the sum of this column. Should come out as 5.4. Now, finally, do these answers make sense? 5.4 is the average. An average should be somewhere in the middle of our range of values. So, our values go between 3 and 8, and we can see that 5.4 is right in the middle. So, we should be pretty confident we've done this right. If you've got a value like 27, you know it's wrong. You can't do an average of these kind of numbers and get an answer of 27. So at the end of the question, make sure you look at your answer and say, and think to yourself, have I got this right? If not, go back and check it.